Let's go elsewhere to show we are a global show, and we go to the Netherlands, where veteran anti-Islamist populist leader Gert Wilders has won a dramatic victory in the Dutch general election, according to the latest results. He's been around for a while, 25 years in Parliament, and it looks like his Freedom Party is going to win around 37 seats, which will pull it well ahead of its nearest rival. Robin Pascoe is editor of DutchNews.nl, Dutch News or one word, .nl, and joins me now. Um, thanks for coming on, Robin. Just explain, how many seats do you need to form a government and how many are still in play? Good morning. Good morning. You need 76 to have a majority in the 150 seat to the lower house of parliament. And so that would technically be possible because uh, Geert Wilders has done so well and surprisingly well. Nobody foresaw this kind of result. But the difficulty is what, what is actually going to happen now. It's uh, the Pevevé, his party, have won 25% of the vote approximately. So you can see he's a long way off having an absolute majority. And that means he's going to have to make deals with other parties. And that's where it's going to get difficult. How many other parties want to make deals with a politician who, in the past, has said mosques should be banned and Islam is a fascist ideology, do you imagine, Robin? Well, at, at, at face value, none, because uh, the the two parties which would be likely to to join forces with him have both said no. One of them has said it's not a democratic party, the PVV. It only has one member, which is Geert Wilders. And that is also a party which is um, trying to um, set new standards of decency and democracy and, and sort of do the right thing on the right. And the other party said, no, we will not work in a coalition in which Kurt Wilders is Prime Minister. So there's an awful lot of, of, of moving going to have to happen in the next few days. And I mean, they are you know, talking already about it and pundits are trying to get answers from the leaders of these two parties which are likely to join them. But uh, so far, there's no, no movement. It will they'll have to bring in an elder statesman to sort of sort it out, I think. So for listeners here in the UK... We always think of, uh, I'm going to say you Dutch, or at least the Dutch as... Oh, I am Dutch. You, okay, can, call, you okay, can call me Dutch. Okay. <laughs> we always think of you Dutch folk as fairly liberal. What the hell's happened here, Robin? Well, it's not fairly liberal. The Netherlands is not Amsterdam. And if we look at what happened in the cities, if we look at what happened in Amsterdam, the Green Left Labour Coalition is by far the biggest party. And Geert Wilders' PVV only scored 8% in oh. the capital. Uh, the same is true in Utrecht. The PVV, very, very few votes. In The Hague and Rotterdam, which have slightly different socio-economic uh, profiles, the PVV was just ahead of the Green Left Labour Coalition. So it's very much a rural thing. Uh, piece, parts of the country that have felt neglected, if you like, by 13 years of Mark Rutte's government, um, which is true in the case of Groningen and um, Limburg. You know, they are underrepresented in terms of money that gets spent on them, and they've got a lot more social problems. But Groningen and Leeuwarden and other big cities all have the pay from the uh, Green Links, um, so that's to say in Dutch, sorry, the Green Left Alliance at top. So it, it's a rural, small town thing. Lastly, in a sentence, who's governing the country today then? Well, the same people who've been governing it for the last two years. Oh. Uh, the coalition collapsed in, uh, in the summer and we have a caretaker cabinet and we will have a caretaker cabinet until we get a new one. And what that basically means is that they keep things ticking over. They can still introduce legislation which... Parliament determines is not controversial, right. uh, but they keep things going. And I mean, I have no idea how long it will take, three months, four months, before we actually have a government. Robin Pascoe, your editor of DutchNews.nl, as in Netherlands, thank you for your time.